Okay, here we go. This is the AC tournament final on the map airport between 25 DK pl playing east and RFP playing west. I hope the script is gonna work. That looks like a nice camera angle here. Okay, th we are watching 25 DKP. They bring up one spawn right on the roads, one BDR infantry vehicle, and at least one motorbike. Uh, can't move the camera, so good. Yeah, on the map there are two zones. On e on either side you can you hold both of them. Let's see what West is up to. Barakavashka is flanking east with the spawn. Very aggressive positioning with the spawn here. The, already on the side from east. We have Pikachu driving inside their own hangar. Moose took out Opman. Celia is in the M1, just east of the zone, Co sort of defensively scouting the distance. Varkavashka takes out of Bates, who was flanking east. Nice stuff there. It looks like he's gonna steal his motorbike. Let's just see the, the map is kind of small here. 25 DKP hasn't managed yet to get inside their own hangar and score the points. The hangar is under fire here from Celia. Bates has lots of problems by himself with an RPG. That's gonna work. Oh, he lets it go for now. Vitus goes down. Varkavashka took him out, and Opman is now finally rushing towards the hangar. Our PS so far really upset 25 DKP. And now uh, Moose takes him out. I can't see where Moose is at the moment, but he must be somewhere here, spamming. And Smokey takes out Moose finally. Nice flanking move from oh. Smokey. Celia has moved even further to the east. He's now protected uh, by the hill, sort of watching the whole eastern flank here. Barakavashka is advancing up the hill, even already behind the the hangar from uh, from east. Old man has to bring up the spawn, but this is going to be dangerous. Nice RPG there from Barakavashka takes out the spawn even before it gets near the zones. Pikachu has an RPG. And Vitus is inside holding the hangar here. I can't see the forces di displaced somewhere here. I think Smokey was still around here, but. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be a close quarters battle here. Nice stuff. <laughs> Double kill here for both players go down, but uh, the zone is unoccupied. Bates is uh, kind of looking around. Barakavashka is still around here. Still a danger to the advancing forces to the spawn also. What does he do? He will probably fire 
the mo on the motorbike. Hopman getting lots of fire here. But this, this told Bates where he is now. Now RFP doesn't have any more front spawn campers, but uh, they've they've done a lot of damage so far in the first five minutes. I just saw the score. It was something like 60 points for RFP and something like 13 or something for 25 DKP. Celia is still in his tank here. Very aggressive positioning. If, it, if you look at it, it's sort of uh, kind of exposed. Probably they, 25 DKP doesn't even know where the tank is. The spawn is also on the eastern side here of this of this runway. Yeah, it's 13 points for 25 DKP. So this is uh, looking like a nice lead here for RFP so far. Celia takes out Smokey. He was flanking. This is Opman advancing with his spawn truck. DKP is sort of forced on the margins here. They have to play a kind of uh, a, a very slow game now. They have to win those one-on-one -on -one battles. They haven't even been on the on the western side of the map here. But Vitus is the only is the only one who's, who's kind of close to the hangar. And no RP players anywhere inside. This is Moose under fire, but uh, he's the only one near the zone here. And Barkalashka takes out Bates from the east. They, this, this seems to be their tactic to just uh, cover the whole runway with the M1, advance from the east and take out the spawn from behind and flank everyone from, from the east. Nice stuff here, Pikachu takes out Smokey, he goes down for the second time, hasn't done any damage so far, except for killing the, the western tank here, this APC. Vitus takes out Barkovashka, he was, he's watching the hill, so they, they are they're aware of where the enemy is advancing from. Very, very quiet on the runway, near the runway, basically not many engagements. This is Moose with a sniper rifle. He can take a shot if he wants to. He just saw someone running. We don't have the zoom here, but we have a crosser at least. I can't make out who, who he's firing at. I think it's it was up man. Yeah. But uh Moose took out Vetus. Vetus was advancing. Didn't see that. The score is 101 points for RFP and 38 points for 25 DKP. So this looks this looks to be a yeah, a, a 61 point, 62 point lead maybe for RFP. They've got 21 minutes left. And again, Barkovashka advancing from the east. And now Bates is onto the M1. Celia is under fire. Second RPG. I don't know if that one hit. It, it didn't. Celia takes off Bates. Kind of lucky. No damage, as far as I can see. Tank still in action, but now um, 
DKP knows knows the strategy for sure, and uh, the tank hasn't done much damage from from this side in terms of taking out the infantry. Vitus was already advancing like he's doing now. He's already on the other side of the runway. So he, if Sally is not getting the information of where the enemy is, then he can't do much. And this is an open advance here for DKP there, and Moose is taking his, sh his, his shots. Now Sally has finally spotted Vitus, he was basically on the runway. And uh, DKP is basically on the road, held up on the road. Very steady match. The beginning, uh, the first five minutes were, were really exciting with uh, a very unusual strategy for RFP. They managed to cause a lot of trouble on the eastern side. They have the advantage, I think, now with the M1 in position still, even though it's not doing much. And Bates intercepted Pikachu. An engagement right across the hill, Smokey and Barkovashka. This is a grenade, both sides tossing grenades, missing. And Barkovashka flanks him. And this is Bates now picking up the pace. He gets taken out by Celia with the M1. This was the fight for the hill so far. Up man. Hasn't hasn't done anything yet. Firing at Moose, and I think uh, this is Vitus again. On the runway, right next to him is across the street Moose. They don't seem to be bothered by each other so far. Vitus takes out Barkovashka, and I think this has alerted Moose now. Vitus goes down. Both sides holding the zones uh, very firmly. And again, in eastern advance, RFP is not changing their strategy. It seems to be working very, very good. As uh, Moose. He's trying to get to the Eastern Hangar, but Vitus takes him out. And this looks to be a very interesting strategy here. Celia is having an easy time taking out Bates, he was very close. Barkoshka on the street. Opman is sort of scouting the Eastern side here. They have to keep the zone clear over there, they can't let anyone pass through like Pikachu who has managed to get past basically on the open open hillside and he can get to the spawn from there. He has got an RPG also and now th is Smokey and Opman, they are making their way to the M1 which is obviously enough still in the same position. And this is gonna be a, a good shot. Oh, he, sh he can see the tank. We don't have the missile cam, that's not good. But this one has missed. He's got one rocket left. And this one looks looks to be a hit. Close hit, at least. Yes. Celia is hurting here. And he retaliates. And finally, no, Celia takes on another one, Moose takes on Smokey. I think uh, Pikachu has taken out the spawn. I 
I'm not sure about the spawn right now, but uh, let's see where the other players are respawning. Oh yeah, this is 25 DKP advancing with three motorbikes. The spawn seems to be down totally. Yes, it is down, okay. Now, finally, RFPS got both zones. Pikachu is intercepting the motorbikes from the west. Very aggressive advance that basically he's not well to do. Beaches is covering him. Nice stuff that it was a good diversion. And again, Opman is rushing also to the hangar. Three DKP players are near the hangar in a flick of an eye. Just rushing in. They've managed to get to get away with this so far. Bates is now advancing more cautiously. The M1 is still in position. Vitas is giving up on his motorbike journey or something. Oh yeah, we know we know that tactic. That's uh, that's kind of a spawn inside the hangar tactic without running inside. And uh, this looks like uh, the T90 is coming. Smokey bringing on the T90. And um, this is going to be also very interesting to have both tanks on the opposite sides of the runway. Markoshka already under fire, he's chasing down the motorbike here. Bates is having luck so far. Opman taking shots. Koshka, but he's, he's not hit so far, he's still running away. Very lucky also. We've got 12 minutes left and RP is leading by at least 100 points. And uh, this is gonna be a nasty surprise for Smokey. One RPG through the bushes. Second RPG and Smokey goes down. That's a very good tactical victory for RFP. T90 is down. Vitus uh, gets a friendly kill. Still okay. But uh, RFP has uh, gained the advantage definitely so far. Even though Bates is now near the hangar, he's gonna try again with this RPG to the M1 this is gonna be way from behind from downtown here and still higher and just falling short from Celia but Celia has been alerted to where Bates must be but Bates goes down now Moose takes him out Barkoshka near the spawn, uh, near the near the zone. They don't have the spawn anywhere near, as far as I could see. Taking his time. Old man is advancing up the hill, and I don't know if what we'll do. If from from this position, this is. This is a, a vital position for them. And very lucky shot here from Opman. Well, well, dodging away. 
killing Pikachu. If they if they have the Eastern Hill, then they can split RFPs in two. They, the stream and the computer crashed at the same time. I think I was um, just about to talk about this, the strategy and the success from RFP. I don't know how many minutes we've lost, but um, let me just recap the situation. RFP is in control of the whole the whole map. Basically, both zones are held. Uh, if nothing has changed from the previous game. Um, before before I crashed, so yeah, the the score must be at least 200 points now for RFP. And Sarah is even bringing up the spawn from the one way, right towards the middle. So they they seem to be in a very comfortable position to do that. I think also that West also has a has an has an advantage on this map as he's taking. He was basically giving it everything he had, but that was not enough. That kind of a peculiar situation for 25 DKP. Yeah, they, we can see the scores now: 364 for RFP and 132 for 25 DKP. So they've got more than 200 points lead for um, for the western side, and they've got four minutes left. A good start for RP. Base is under fire. It was actually off man. So 25 DKP is still up to trying these desperate advances. Celia takes him out. They're trying these desperate advances to just rush in, and this is Bates finally getting inside the western hangar. And Moose is on to him. I think this strategy is just to deny the points. Oh yeah, this is Bates under fire. Moose is turning this hangar into a Swiss cheese. And he's holding on safely so far. So This is a nice strategy here from Moose. And now throwing a grenade. Bates still hanging on here. And Moose takes out Bates with another grenade. And Opman goes down. Um, DKP doesn't have any players near the zones again, so this is definitely the um, RFP's map. So far, they've got two minutes left. And now it's the score is 397 to 138, and Smokey goes down. So kind of one-sided now in the last minutes of the game. And again, looks like rushes from 25 DKP, and this looks like to be right into the hands of Pikachu. Pikachu can see two players, three players now. He's taking out the first one and he's gonna decide on the second. He's missing that one, but he's still got the other one left. He's running down the hill now. And he's taking him under fire, so nice stuff here from Pikachu. He's, now he's under fire from the UAZ, but there's another victim for him. And he refused to go down so far. No, he takes out Smokey. Three kills for Pikachu. And the only one who's managed to get past him is Opman. So this does not look to be a good map for 25 DKP so far. The stream works for now without any lag or something. This 
getting close to the end of the map and just the scores were 439 to 139 so actually 141 now and RFP has won this map with 302 points lead playing west and um, this is a very solid lead for RFP a very very solid lead for RFP this is going to be really difficult for DKP to make up this difference Sally has only died once and is at the top of the leader it's the scoreboard so that was a very solid strategy from RFP the, both teams seem to agree to start now Now RFP is playing east and if they are careful and they play a nice and steady game then they will take this, this map and um, this tournament home very easily. But you have to remember that east is east of this map uh, not very, uh, very, very strong because I think that has to do with the, with the position where, where they're advancing. And this is an interesting tactic. Gavr Gavoshka and T90. And this seems to be the same tactic that RFP has played um, on the western side also. Moose takes out Vitas, I haven't seen that coming. Bates is rushing across. Pikachu was, was managed to slip through here. Pikachu has taken at least his own hangar. And Bates is sort of flanking. He's already on the other side. Very interesting. Pikachu is just watching the corner, they're gonna have an engagement very soon. Changing position, but this seems to be now fateful decision from Bates. Gets taken out. And I can't see 25 DKB anywhere near their own hangar. Smokey is way He's way to the to the west, way behind. Damien is on the eastern hill. At least that's a that's a good start for them. And Vitus has brought up the spawn. I don't know if they've lost it. I don't think so. So actually, they are not close to the hangar now. And again, I think RFP is playing the same tactic, just uh, reversed. They have put all their players on the um, on the western side of the map. Moose and the rest, everyone there. And Celia, I think he's he's under fire. He was getting some rockets and Smokey was um, probably causing some trouble and he's abandoned his tank it hasn't exploded yet but it seems to be useless so finally a nice reverse here from uh, from 25 DKP they've managed to at least disable the tank while keeping theirs in place And Pikachu has a friendly fire kill. That's not good. Some confusion. So far the scores are 33 points for RP and 1 point for 25 DKP. And Moose takes out Damien who was on the eastern hill.
Oh, basically on, on the west and already behind this hangar. Some RPG fire here from Bates. It's kind of interesting, I have to see the map. Okay, this is 25 TKP they have. Um, this is Vitus, of course, with his heavy machine gun. He's covering the whole eastern side, the, the airfield. Looks to be a solid position. Bates is already, yeah, he's, he's, he's kind of close, watching the same direction. Smokey takes out Gavagavashka. And Smokey goes down here. RFP is playing an interesting strategy. They have um, put every player on one side of the map and they're kind of causing trouble from there. who was running across Celia also holding the map the, w the western side basically totally down and now I think 25 DKB is also changing their tactics now they are they're trying to engage them from this side and as far as I could see they had they didn't bring up the M1 now. But they need the points. They have already played 6 minutes and at this time of the game uh, RFP already had 7 points lead. And Pikachu goes down. Smokey took care of him with the RPG. I think he was even behind Damien, yeah. They need to score and they need to score really big now. They have to cover at least 300 points, 303 points or 302 points, something like that exactly. So this is going to be really difficult if they don't put on the pressure and just take some take some risks. They've got the advantage now, they've, they've got the P90 down. And Pikachu takes some easy shots at Damien who was advancing on the... They have through the bushes, but basically on an open field. Celia is holding a firm position. Vitus is trying to do the same. And Smokey goes down. Moose is somewhere up near the hill with a sniper rifle. Oh yeah, he's down there on the airfield. And I think Moose and Vitus, they should see each other. Some uh, Maybe the BMP wreckage is in the way. Kind of an interesting stalemate situation. And now Pikachu is taking risk. Vitus doesn't see him. Smokey's under fire. Who's putting on the pressure from there. And this is Barkavashka, who's having an easy time taking out the motorbike and he gets run over. Bates. Manages to kill him. Nice road kill. Um, but uh, the only one who's who seems to who seems to have a steady strategy is Vitus at the moment. He has he has been holding his position. He hasn't done much though, but at least uh, he can guarantee that that no one is advancing from from the from the west. And this is gonna be. A, Close engagement. Pikachu spots Damien and Smokey is on the fire. Both have an M16. Pikachu gets him. I don't know if he's if he's been hurt, but he's taking out the RPG and taking a shot at the respawn truck right across the street. And that's a nice shot. He hit the respawn truck. And um Vitus take, finally takes him out, but uh, this was this was a setback. First of all, RP got 10 points, and they have to bring up the respawn truck again. 
and they cannot afford to do that. So let that happen. They need to get 300 points. I think Moose is getting a visitor. And he can already see him, but he's not taking the shot. Kind of interesting. And Moose just has to step back one more time, and then he will be in range, in full sight. Bates is kind of holding on very patiently, not even moving one centimeter. And Moose is kind of getting nervous. And one and two or three grenade right on the tower, but Moose now is deciding to change his position. But uh, as they made a nice shot here from Bates, I think through the window. Yeah, this this could this could be a good strategy. But even though Barkaoshka has now managed to steal the second hangar, even so, then Bates needs to do something. RP doesn't have any players near the hangar, so he can just run it down. And Barkaoshka is causing more trouble near the hangar. He's defending it. Vitas is under fire. Smo Smokey gets a kill on Pikachu. And RP is leading with now 60 points. Difficult situation for 25 DKP to just make up this that difference. RFP is basically leading by 360 points, and there's 20 minutes left. <laughs> Moose takes out Bates with a nice grenade. I don't know if these grenades are like buggy grenades or something, but he's just throws them near the uh, edges of the, of the hangar. That seems to do the trick. Oh. Smokey is the only one who's kind of holding his position. Both teams have had like a, a nice um, steady league play here they've they've um i think both teams have, have beaten k and d and they played against get skilled rfp uh, has beaten k and d and um 25 played against get skilled managed to beat k and d too and both teams were kind of very solid in their in their strategies, but I haven't seen RFP beat um, 25 DKB this big because 360 points is a lot, and to have 300 points already in one round, something uh, has really gone wrong here for 25 DKB. They are not getting inside the hangar either, so Bates is under fire. Pikachu takes him out very easily. They don't seem to be aware of where the opponents are. This is trying to take care of some business with a big salvo across the airfield and Moose defends his. Pikachu from the tower, I think. Yes, yeah, still Damien has managed to get inside, but um, this is long overdue. And if he's not careful, then Pikachu will. Well, uh, displace him again. 
Just a few seconds, so they need to hold the zone for at least one minute to start scoring. And this is the other one for Damien. And DKP is totally in disarray, they don't have the spawn placed anywhere where it could be useful. They have single advances now, trying different angles. But um, kind of futile against against the good communication. You can't do much, but um, have a, have another good strategy. But just to go on in with one player. I think up here. Oh yeah, actually I missed something because 25 DKP has the spawn position, but uh, I don't know if even um, R3 has noticed that, but. That, that is kind of a, a weird uh, tactic. They've, they've got the spawn behind both both zones on the on the up for side, so they're advancing from behind on foot. But they really need to get in, inside the zones. Damien. Is taking out his binoculars now. I haven't seen that for a while. Beatus is kind of holding down the hangar. He could spray the whole hangar if he wanted to. Just like Moose did. Moose takes out two. They they definitely seem to be aware um, where DKP is now, just on the eastern hill. They are working out a solid lead of 140 points. And they've got 14 minutes left. Shoes, rockets near the hill didn't do much, but maybe scare some some players to move. But uh, Peters is se seems to be just concentrated on this one hangar here. But it doesn't make sense to advance across the field if you have the other hangar just next to you. Taking care of that. Now he's finally flanking 25 DKP from the left side. Meanwhile, RFP is still holding the zones, no threat at all. So that tactic does not seem to work very, very good either. Vetus is now moving at least a little bit more to the other hangar. Nice shot there from Moose. And it's now up to Bates. And Barkaloshka takes out Smokey again. And he's right next to the spawn and this is not going to be a happy ending. And I think he just missed the spawn. I, can just, I can't see it. No, he missed the spawn. Very lucky here for 25 DKP, but that um, that doesn't seem to work either. So they just need to change their position, maybe a little bit more to the, to the western side, across the street. And they can't have that much uh, footway to advance. RFP is now leading with nearly 200 points. This gives them a. Uh, this this is added to their 
already 300 point lead so this must be 500 points in total grenade seed from Bates Moose is refusing to go down so and finally Smokey takes out Moose I think they've brought the M1 finally I'm not sure yeah finally they've got the M1 out that was that was long open to also If Smoke is not careful, then Pikachu will, will spoil this tactic also. And this is him now taking aim with the, with the small, nice, accurate rocket launcher. One, one seems to have hit. And Smokey takes out Pikachu. Nice stuff. Direct Sabot on. Pikachu. Even though he's hurt, but he can he can still cause some damage. He's now rushing towards the hangar. There was just about time to do that. No RP players are near there. Beat is taking care of Celia. Finally some movement into this game. And Pikachu has to respawn. They've um, RP has got the spawn just down the western slope of the airfield. Smokey takes care of Pikachu. Moose can't do much from there in terms of challenging the hangar, but he's got a sniper rifle. And I can't see any more our free players near the zone. This is Barkashka, he's advancing from the north and getting close to the respawn truck. I don't know if they've got the respawn truck still on the same spot. Celia takes out Damien with the M1. I can't see the respawn truck anywhere here. Yeah, but Vitas has has missed. Damien took out Barkavashka. Where's the respawn truck? Right there. Actually, I don't know if. Um, I don't know if Barkovashka has missed again, but I sort of didn't catch that situation. I don't know why they're not moving it. They they have it in a very vulnerable position. They needed someone near the airfield, I say. And Celia has, has got his. BDR. Oh, he's, he's lost the tires, so <laughs> he gets another RPG. He's in trouble, definitely. And another RPG is coming. No, yes. Smokey takes him out. I think Smokey abandoned his tank. Finally, they've um, they've got both no, uh, hangers now. They've got I don't know how many minutes left, but um, they are definitely still in trouble, even though they've managed to turn the tables.
But RP still has the spawn here. So if they, um, if they just hold on like that and just take out everyone, just sort of coming close to it, they they would easily be able to win this map still, I would say. And this looks to be Vegas with the spawn on the open airfield, advancing right into the enemy fire. Celia is really pulling down some fire here on the spawn. Very lucky, didn't get him. Moose takes out Damien for the second time in a row. The spawn must be wrecked. Just a few more shots, I think, and it's down. Damien having another go. It's not gonna go anywhere if he's if he's just running in outside. But Celia doesn't see him. Vitus takes out Celia. Nice stuff. Shit. And a long, long RPG. It goes just short of the T90, which is disabled there for a long while. Ah, he doesn't have a second one. Did it explode? I don't think so. But this would give them also another 10 points. To take out the T90. And Moose takes out Damien for the third time. Under fire now, Vitus. Moose takes out another one. <coughs> Smoking out all by himself. He's getting up for the shot. And another long range RPG. I think this one did the job. Stop. Oh. Oh. I think. Yeah. Pikachu took out the spawn inside the hangar from behind. Just from the southern hill, he was flanking, Moose takes out another one, solid play from Moose, nice defensive play, they've managed to get back the, the eastern hangar, so they start to score points again, and this is Celia with an easy shot here on Damien, Damien doesn't seem to have, doesn't, doesn't seem to have any luck so far playing his game. Vitus is now trying to challenge Moose I think. And this is Moose with his trademark hand grenades. Didn't do any damage. But he's Oh my god, that was very lucky from Moose. He just rushed towards him while he was busy and his luck may be running out now no it's not Moose takes out another one and RFP takes takes back both zones Markawashka with his small and he's got some nice targets here advancing shot there taking out Smokey no chance for him another RPG on Damien, who's who's got just uh, I think it's some bad luck streak or something. Lots of bad luck now <laughs> so far. Moose still alive. I think this must be his his tenth kill or something on a rampage. Looking for more opponents to kill, but they have all all disappeared somehow. Double motorbike advance here. I think not, they only have motorbikes left, so keeping up their spirits. They're just advancing still, trying to not, not give them any points at all. 
Mates goes down, Vitis is killed by ejecting too soon. And Barkovashka lets one pass. I think Pikachu will take care of that. Damon goes down for I think the sixth time or something. <sighs> Can't do much either. Smokey under fire, hiding behind the storm. Returning fire, finally responding. Pikachu and uh, Barkoshka are the only ones who are holding off the whole team and now I think the game is over. And this is a big, big, big victory for RFP. I think they've got at least 700 points or something by which they've won the map. And uh, the scoreboard doesn't look any different as what you would expect with those point differences. Three RFP players on, on top of the scoreboard nice nice play there was a really good really good and solid tactic from rfp they've had some really surprising tactic at the beginning playing west